It's our own, let's cherish our own. The Ghana Premier League is back again. The Ghana Premier League is back again, and it's time for the review show over here on the Madiba official channel. So please and please and please, if you are not already subscribed to this channel, then my dear, kindly help us by subscribing to this channel because this is the channel that always updates you with the happiness in Ghana football. You want to know the latest in the Ghana Premier League, the Black South of Ghana, and what have you? Then my dear, this is the channel for you. Has a folk won their game against Brecon Chelsea by three goals to one at the Accra Sports Stadium, and by doing so, they've ended their matches for the first round of the Ghana Premier League, and they've ended it in a grand style. The coach Slavko matches started the game. With these players in goal post, it was the ever present Richmond Ayi. The right fullback was Samuel Inkum. The left back was, as usual, Dennis and Kruma Kors after his return from the uh, Chan tournament. The centre back pairing had that is Robert Adusowa and Kunadu Yar, another returning from the Chan tournament. In the middle of the park, they had Eric Esom. Glassen Awako and Sally for Ibrahim Di Maria. And the foreign line had Don Lenda Ntangi, Albert Diodoni Iyonde Diego started up front and he was making his debut for the Continental Club Masters. And the other flank had Jao Amankwa Befi. So these were the players that started the game for the Continental Club Masters. On the bench, they had Clint Yapia, who came into the game to replace Samuel Inkum. Benjamin York also came into the game to replace Salif Ibrahim Di Maria. And then also Victor Edu came in to replace Albert Giotoni Iyonde. So these were the players that came into the field to replace the starters against Brecum Chelsea. The first half ended goalless. As a folk probe and probe, Without getting a goal in the first half, other folk were able to keep the top scorer in the Ghana Premier League, Mizak Afriye, quiet, and he couldn't get any goal in the first half. The second half started the same way, so the coach decided to ring the changes. So he brought in Benjamin York, Clinton Apia, and Darius uh, Victor Edu to make sure that he can be able to change how the game was going on. It took out folk until its second minute before they could register their first goal. So it was a neat one too from Dennis and Kroma Kosa and one of folk player that eventually led to Zakaria Hussaini, the captain of Bekum Chelsea, putting the ball uh, at the back of his own net. Then the game started to open up and other folk eventually got the second goal to Benjamin York. A beautiful pass beat him and he was able to go past the goalkeeper and throw the ball at the back of the unguarded net to give out the folk this can go on the 87 minutes then uh Bekum Ch chelsea got the consolation goal in the 90th minute that was when they got the consolation goal to take the game to 2-1 with some minutes to end the game but the folk also turned on the skills and eventually they got a third goal through a low diving header from Victor Edu. That was what gave other folk the victory. So Victor Edu's header gave other folk the victory for them to win the game by three goals to one. So after his return into the team that he was registered for the second round of the transfer window in Ghana, Victor Edu had marked his appearance at home with a goal for the Continental Club Masters. Now this victory have taken out the folk into the second position on the league law. If you can remember, before this game, I told that victory for the folk would mean that they will leave from Conoco into the second position on the league law because prior to this game, Halo Folk had 25 points. Conoco, who was second on the league law, had 27 points. So a victory had take, uh, would take them to 28 points and now they won it. So they are now, they are now on 28 points. In the Ghana Premier League, they are only second to the other stars and the league log. So for me, we have to congratulate 
the coach. That commented because it's substitution break for him. He brought in Benjamin York. He came in to score. And also, Victor Edu also got the third goal for the team. That's all that we always need from our coaches. For them to eventually make changes that will affect the game. If you can remember, I said in my preview show that all that we need from the coach, that of other folk, is for him to always make sure that he will change the game when the going gets tough. Because that's when we see the real coach, how his tactics can affect changes on the field of play. And truly, truly, the coach did affect the changes that brought Hazel Folk the victory. Now, Hazel Folk are second on the league log going into the match, other match that we play tomorrow. Already, Beijing United drew against Rena Star. Call the call we played against Dreams FC. If God calls to draw, they will go above Hazel Folk on goal difference. But still, it will be good because they will be level on points with the Pine Warriors. This is how we end 